Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Have any of you ever wanted to have like freaking laser beams attached to your head? That is the question that if you are asking yourself, and if the answer is yes, you may be interested in one of these extremely high-tech BenQ projectors featuring laser diode technology for the backlight for the eight segment DLP wheel. So this uses their blue core light engine, which basically is more eco-friendly, provides better power consumption, and just blows away other DLP projectors in terms of the brightness and the contrast ratio. Now, while we have the XGA version, the LX605T, there's also a WXGA version. Now I wanna just show you guys, this is a data projector. So we're throwing up an 80 plus inch image from only about 60 inches away from the wall. And these are very approximate sort of eyeball measurements. But the point is that it is not really meant for cinema use, but more along the lines of pre presentations or professional installations where you want the projector to throw up a huge image, but be relatively close to the screen that it is firing at. So you guys are going to see see in a moment with the Heaven benchmark running in the background here. I'm going to reposition a little bit so that it's not so skewed on the wall and Slick's going to start hitting all the lights. But this thing absolutely blows away anything else that I've personally seen before in terms of a DLP projector with the contrast as well as with the vibrancy of the images. So uh, Slick, you want to grab the TV as well? So there we go. That is what this bad boy is going to look like in a dark environment. So even in a not dark environment, it looks pretty good. Remember guys, this is on a not ideal projection wall. This is just an ugly yellow drywall wall because we're not really set up to properly test projectors. But as far as I'd be able to tell looking at this, there's just a big fat TV behind the wall. So for me personally, I'd be more interested in the WXGA model, but there you have it anyway. So guys, I'm just going to run through a quick summary of some of the other things that I've missed so far. So in terms of inputs, this bad boy comes with a wide variety. So we've got our audio in, audio out, as well as your usual, uh, sort of your more, your more legacy analog connectors, including S-Video as well as composite. We've got dual VGA inputs as well as a monitor out. HDMI in, we've got a couple USB ports and I've got something plugged into that one which is actually quite interesting and I'll show you that in a moment, as well as a serial port, USB mini B, a LAN port as well as a 12 volt trigger. Some of the other things I didn't mention are that due to the laser design of this particular projector, there is no mercury in the lamp. Also, it will last about 10,000 hours before you need to replace the DLP color wheel. So I don't remember if I said this already, but it uses an eight segment color wheel as opposed to a more traditional six segments, which is what gives it that deeper color as well as the better contrast. Uh, last but not least, it has near instant on and off, so it takes about two seconds to turn off. Actually, we might as well, here, uh, point it at the wall. It's actually still running, the, the benchmark from before. And I'm sorry about the quality of the, there's the beep, that means it's off. I'm sorry about the quality of that previous video. That was just the best we could do with our equipment. No, no, I'll leave it over there because I'm going to turn it back on. I already pressed the button. And we're up within about, yeah, about four or five seconds, which is very, very cool, especially for a projector of this magnitude. And yes, it's running. <laughs> Thank you, Slick. Now this has not necessarily anything to do with this specific projector. There are a number of BenQ projectors that it works with, but they also have an iPhone app. So you guys are actually gonna see, uh, based on looking at my phone here probably, that it's 2.30 in the morning right now and we're here in the studio. Because um, that's how dedicated we are to BenQ's projector right about now. So all we have to do is open up the app, connect to it as a wireless access point, and then all we have to do is go to documents and check this out. So I can open up a PDF, and then I can, oh, no, no, I don't want to do that yet, hold on. No, I can do a variety of things. So if I go back, ah, keypad. So I can use this to control my projector. So I'm gonna change the source to down, 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 network display. There we go. 
Now I'm going to go back, then I'm going to go to my documents, and I'm going to have a look at my laser projector PDF, and bam! Up on the wall next to me, I can scroll through the various pages of this PDF with no issues. At least if my phone would stop lagging on me here. There we go. Okay, we can also do PowerPoint. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to open up a PowerPoint. It does take a second because it is opening over the network. So you guys will see this in real time. This is exactly how long it'll take. Once it's running, it's quicker to scroll in between the slides, but it just takes a moment. Another cool thing about this projector is it can actually be mounted in uh, landscape mode as well as in portrait mode. So it is compatible with both of those different orientations. There we go. The BenQ Projector Family Slideshow by BenQ. So you can see how long it's taking. Yes, there is a bit of a delay. So I'm swiping to the next slide. Then it's changing to tell us more about BenQ projectors. Swiping to the next slide, and there it goes. So it's a bit of a delay, but it is kind of a cool way to be able to do a PowerPoint presentation. You don't even need to have a computer handy. You can also even do photos. So I have a photo here uh, in my test folder of some jack-o'-lanterns. So here's a jack-o'-lantern that I carved. This is a sophisticated pumpkin according to uh, my interpretation of what that would look like. Slick's going to try and zoom in on that for you guys. He does have a top hat and I can have, uh, have a look at the night shot here. So a very cool feature and you just have to pick up the BenQ dongle. The app itself tells you which projectors it's compatible with, but yeah, it's pretty neat. So thank you for checking out this episode of NCIX Tech Tips on BenQ's laser data projector as well as their little wireless USB dongle and don't forget to subscribe.